Hi, this is Brian Nelson with GetPassiveIncome.com and I want to show you a very quick way to start using mobile phones to drive affiliate traffic and start generating revenue. So to get started, we're going to go over to ClickBank and choose an offer that we're going to promote. Uh, the offer we're going to choose is actually the Diet Solution Program. The weight loss lot niche is, is massive. So we're going to choose this to promote as uh, for this demonstration. First thing you want to do is click on and create your affiliate link. So you click your affiliate link, copy that, and now you want to create an opt-in squeeze page for mobile phones. Now the reason we do that versus direct linking on a mobile phone is when people land on an offer through ClickBank, very rarely is it mobile optimized. And the easier way and the more effective way that you can actually market affiliate products online is to create a squeeze page on a mobile phone capture contact information and then sell the product through a follow-up email program emailing the uh, your target uh, customer five six seven times over the span of a couple days or a couple weeks or a couple months and continually market to them to generate revenue so we've got the diet solution program <clears throat> we've got our affiliate link let's go ahead and create a mobile optimized squeeze page let's go over to aweber and this is going to be the, uh, <clears throat> the email capture uh, program that we're going to use for this demonstration. Click on Web Forms. As you can see, I've already chosen a format, and I actually uploaded this text in the header. Get the secret to fat loss now. Download this free report. <clears throat> now, on your smartphones, this is actually what your web page is going to look like. This is actually what the squeeze page is going to look like. And Aweber makes this very easy because their forms are very well adapted to uh, smartphones. So this is the, the form that we've got. Go to step two, we'll call it Fat Loss 2. <clears throat> Save the web form. Go to step three. Now we've got a form. We need to convert this into a mobile squeeze page. Um, if you use the form the way it is right now, it won't format correctly on the smartphones. In fact, it'll come in very small and a little contorted. <clears throat> so there are some small modifications that you need to make in order to get the page to come in correctly on a smartphone. So what you do is you click raw HTML and the modifications that you need to make, you can either make them uh, in the header HTML yourself if you're familiar with how to, how to change HTML or there's a free tool online <clears throat> thanks to Mobile Monopoly that you can use to actually create a mobile squeeze page. So let's go to mobilemonopoly.com backslash secret dash tool. And what this does is takes those Aweber forms and creates a mobile optimized page. So you paste in your HTML from Aweber and you, you click Create My Mobile Optimized Squeeze Page. Now this is the link to the squeeze page that was just created. Now at this point you've got two choices. This is what the, the mobile squeeze page looks like online. On your smartphone it will fill up the entire screen and it'll actually look very good. <clears throat> As I said you've got two choices. You can actually leave this form right here and use the Mobile Monopoly servers or you can view the source code, copy that, and paste that into your own HTML document, add whatever uh, analytic software you're using. I currently use GetClicky, and that way you'll be able to tr track traffic as well as conversions. But it's up to you. For, for demonstration purposes, what we'll do is we'll actually just leave it right here on the servers and use this as what we're going to promote. <clears throat> so this is our squeeze page. And now let's go and see how it actually is going to look on a smartphone. So we're going to OfferMobi.com. This is a mobile dedicated affiliate network, but they've got a lot of free tools that you can use to see how your ads look on various phones. So let's click Mobile Preview, <clears throat> and let's choose the type of phone we want to display on. Let's say it's going to be an HTC, that's the type of phone I currently use paste in the URL and let's see how that squeeze page looks on the HTC phone. So it's down below. So this is actually how that squeeze page will look on an HTC. As you can see there's a large blank screen underneath it so we may need to make some modifications to the HTML. If you look at how it's going to look on an iPhone 4, 
And to double check, you can actually paste this URL into your own phone and see how it looks. I can tell you that this form and format usually fills the entire screen. <clears throat> so just double check and make sure that it looks right on your screen, on your actual phone. Now that you've got your URL, you've got your squeeze page, let's talk about where you're going to place ads. There are three places that I currently place ads. I place ads on AdMob, I place ads on Mojiva, and I uh, place ads on um, Ad Center or Ad, uh, <clears throat> you know, for some reason I can't remember, so I'll get to that in a second. But placing the ads are all the same. So let's go to AdMob. Now AdMob is currently changing the way it's, it's displaying ads with Google and AdSense. Google has made the decision that most of its in-mobile advertising is going to be done through AdSense and that AdMob is going to be primarily uh, app displays. So that will affect the traffic. I haven't seen it how it affects it yet, but I expect that change to come through. So let's talk about creating a campaign. Click on campaign. Let's create a new campaign. <clears throat> We're going to call this um, Fat Diet Solutions 1. Uh, we're going to set a daily budget of $10. You want to choose just standard display, save and continue. And most of the ads and uh, ad servers are the same way. Um, they, they take ads the same, same way. So let's uh, choose, uh, we're going, we're directing it to a website. In this case, it's the, uh, we're going to keep it on the, the mobile monopoly website. But uh, once again, name the ad group, continue. And now you've got some choices. And the best thing to do when you're marketing online using mobile is to target by segment, target by demographic, and target by device. Believe it or not, a different device will give you different results. So easiest way to do that right now is target by iPhone and Android because you've got an entire page you want people to see. So you don't even want to mess with uh, the other carriers or the other technologies, primarily Android, Android, iPhone, WebOS. We're going to target just Android right now. But as you can see, you can target by your device, by the manufacturer, by the model. Geographically, because this is a <clears throat> an English primary offer, we want to market to North America as well as the UK as well as Australia, New Zealand. So let's go ahead and open that up. Click on Australia. Let's open Western Europe. Click on the UK, and that's where we're going to be showing our offers. As you can see off to the right, every time we make a change, AdMob updates the recommended bid. The minimum bid right now is five cents per click. Now the demographics. Now for this product, I've already searched online. I've already looked at Quantcast and Compete.com, and it seems like our target demographic is women between 35 and 54. So that's going to be our target demographic. So now that we've got our campaign or our demographic set up where we want to show our ads, we're actually bidding six cents a click. Save and continue. Now what you do is you create your ad. So you've got two choices. You can upload a banner ad or a text ad. For this campaign, we're just going to create a text ad. <clears throat> we're going to call it uh, diet solution one the url is going to be the squeeze page that we've got now the challenge with leaving it on the site or on the mobile monopoly site is your display url is going to default to mobile monopoly the challenge with that is if you change your display url and it's different than your mobile not than your uh, your uh, click url AdMob will likely not approve it. So let's just say that it's it's going to the fight stomach dot com uh, website. <clears throat> just just so that it's consistent. All right, so your ad text. Um, let's go back to what our form looks like. 
and now you want to put in text that looks something like your your ad. Now this one's too long, so maybe we want to change it to get the secret to fat locks lost now. If you look down here, this is what the ad looks like. Um, this tile, if you have a custom tile, you can make that tile. Otherwise, you can um, choose one of the standard tiles. Uh, if you look, there's not a lot of Possibly this one, the, the healthy person, get the secret to fat loss now. <clears throat> I would highly recommend you create your own tile to promote your products. Uh, the reason for that is it gets a little bit more attention and you'll get a better click-through rate. So if you have a custom image that's 38 by 38, upload it and use that as part of the advertisement. So this is how it's going to show in the apps as you're playing whatever application you're playing or whatever application you're using, uh, the ad will pop down and it'll say get the secret fat loss now. Now I do want to warn you this specific ad will probably not get approved by AdMob because they have uh, uh, some challenges with uh, diet and uh, internet marketing um, <clears throat> ads. So be be creative with the way with your ad text, but don't get discouraged if uh, if any of the networks don't approve the ad uh, right away. So you create ad and finish, and now your ad is ready to run. So your ad, the way it shows up in AdMob, <clears throat> get the secret fat loss now. Here's the link. The status is pending approval. Depending on your account with AdMob, it'll take anywhere from an hour to a day to get approved. And then what you do is you go to the next mobile network and you do the same thing. Create a text banner ad. We're going to call this Diet Solution. Uh, and this time we're going to choose banner ads. Once again, we're going to say get the secret fat loss now, download this free report. <clears throat> In this instance, you have your landing page, which is your mobile monopoly page. So that's where you want to direct people, so you paste that in, get rid of the HTTP so that it resolves correctly. Um, create the next step and go through the same process that you went through with AdMob. And as you can see, um, Mohiva, the bid is a little bit higher, but I can tell you, you actually will get a lot more traffic from Mohiva than you will from um, <clears throat> AdMob. So that is how, and then you've, there are a number of other ad server uh, websites out there that you can use to place advertisements either in ads or in mobile apps or on mobile websites. And finally, if you have a, a website that you're promoting that, ha that is mobile optimized, that's not necessarily an affiliate site, then you can actually place ads on Google AdSense to show up on the mobile web. Anyway, I hope that you found this useful. I hope you found this informative. Now I encourage you to go out and start generating mobile advertised or mobile, use mobile advertising to promote your affiliate products. Thank you.